Hey guys, Luftinger for here as always and welcome back to Steel Fury Harkov 1942. So in past three videos we played as the Axis Germany and the Soviet with the SC-100 silk propelled gun. And now I think it's time to give some love to the British. Now I hardly know anything about British equipments, but the tank we're on is the infantry tank Mark II Matilda. Same thing as you see over there with the very odd camouflage. And we do have other units that I do want to introduce. Um, that's the, I think, Mark III Valentine. And we have one Mark IV Churchill, which I'm having a hard time finding. But yeah, uh, basically we'll be pushing towards the German defense line. This is in order to secure the road towards a town named Tobaruk. I have no idea why is that strategically important. But we see a target over there that's a uh, German half-track. I'm gonna ask my loader to load up an armor-piercing round. Thank you. And as you can see, this is a static site, meaning we can't uh, move the reticle up and down like you can with the German optic. So I'm gonna assume that's about a thousand meters and fire a bit over. Hit. I swear, these uh, German half strike or the Hanamag are the hardest thing to take out. You can hit the engine compartment, you pierce through. Well, that's a lot of infantry, man. But they never stop. All right. I'm gonna try and spot the field guns. There are a few more targets over there. Hit. Still active. And I believe I tracked it. So we don't have to worry about that. There were another half track that went to the right side. Don't have eyes anymore. There it is. Again, a bit over. Damn. Come on. Alright, that was a hit. Probably penetrated the thinnest part. I have to hit the engine compartment. Hit. Come on. Alright, that probably stopped them. So, there are a bunch of infantry units. One thing about the Matilda is that although it's called the infantry tank, it's not capable of firing a high explosive round. So, we either have to result in the MG fire, like you see over here, which kind of works alright, not too good at this distance, or we can just use the wow. That half track is still up. Hit. Jesus, see, they never stop. All right, are you out? Are you out of the game? All right, I'm gonna assume so. So, uh, that's the German machine gun. It looks like a pack, actually. Getting a bit over. It's just incredibly hard to accurately aim at this. There, direct hit. <laughs> and it barely did nothing. Let's send him one more. So 
another bunch of infantry. I'm gonna leave those for our. See, there's a church oak over there. I don't know what he's doing right in front of me. Uh, we're gonna leave infantry. Oh shit, that's a Panzer three, I think. 800 meters. And fire. Let's push up a little bit. Again, going a bit too high. He's about seven to six hundred meters now. I'm gonna try and aim for the Amarak. Hit a little bit lower. There's another Panzer three to our right. Let's forget about Amarak. I'm gonna try and put one into the side of his turret. It that should do some damage. And it's really hard to distinguish between a Panzer III and Panzer IV. The Panzer IV has a rather unique rear engine compartment, but it's hard to judge from this kind of distance. And going over always. I guess we'll get a little bit closer. Hit. Let's make sure no tank is trying to flank us. So that's the friendly Matilda pushing up. He's still active. Good hit. Oh. This guy's still up as well. I have a clear shot in his uh, side chassis. Hit one of his guide tracks. And fire. Alright, let's try and pierce through the enemy defense line. There is another tank. That looks like Panzer IV. Uh, distance, 1000 meters. And fire. Hit directly to the turret. I'm not even sure if this cannon is capable of penetrating for front armor of the tank. That went over. Hit! Alright, he's tracked now. He shouldn't be able to move anymore. Hit! Let's close in a little bit more. One of our Matilda was taken out. I'm trying to spot or focus on the enemy tank. There's the Hanumag over there. I think he is not active. I'm not sure. Those are Valentine, Valentine, all friendly tanks. Alright, let's halt over here, switch to the gunner seat. Some Germans over there. But other than that, it looks clear. We at least took out most of the enemy armor forces. I'm not sure if they have more reinforcements coming up or not. But... Uh, looks clear enough. Our infantry should be able to push up. Oh shit, enemy tank. 600 meters. Where, 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 where? I don't see him. There he is. Good hit. He's very close. Fire. Hit. That's a... Is that the Panther tank? No, that's a... Uh, sorry. Kinda looked like it. It's 
firing at me. Hit one of the viewports. Let me try and track him. Hit. Alright, they're demounted. And another tank, that's a Panzer IV. Hit. Let me make sure my tank is angled correctly. Rear engine compartment, fire. Hit. Hit. Ouch, just got hit. All right, they're dismounting. Anymore. I'm definitely getting hit by something. There's another Matilda down. There's a German over there. Come on. See, and this is what we saw earlier. Alright, so those are just ammo racks. Just a bunch of Germans inside the trench. Come on, run away! There's nothing you can do, guys! See, <laughs> these armor piercing rounds can't even neutralize an MG34 on a tripod. But this is when you wish you had high explosive round instead of just AP. Round. They seem to be starting to retreat. Another tank. Wow, they just keep coming. That's another Panzer IV with a short barrel. Fire. Good hits, probably damaged his uh, wheels. Oh no, you don't look at me. Angle the armor. Ouch! Alright, target silent. He's gonna make sure he's down. He's not following us anymore. And I think their ammo rack is somewhere around here. I'm just not too sure. They're not even dismounting, so I guess they're all down inside. Alright, so anyways, uh, we started pushing from around there, and we crossed the enemy defensive line and took out, I think, all of the enemy armor units. That's the British troops pushing up, and yeah, one of our Valentine got taken out as well. So most of them were Panzer IVs, but we've successfully stopped their reinforcement, which is good. Some dead Germans over there. Anyways, um, I'll leave the job of clearing out the trenches to our Churchill and the Mark III Valentine, since, again, we're not capable of using the high explosive rounds, so we can't really do that kind of job efficiently. So we'll keep on pushing up and make sure nothing is advancing towards us anymore but yeah hope you guys enjoyed uh, the mod I've used is mostly from um, the STA mod pack uh, I'll make sure to include the, the community website of their page and the sound mod is from the Steel Fury Japanese community and if you are interested in installing it I'll make sure to include a brief instruction how to install them if you want, so if you want, just ask me in the comments. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video as always. 
I think this was a pretty successful mission, and I'll see you guys in the next one.